Um, I know this is long overdue, and I really do have a reason why. It is not because I have not wanted to make videos or anything like that. Um, I have had some stuff go on that has made things very difficult. Um, and I will get to some of that, but non-pregnancy related. Um, since I moved in over here, and I didn't realize that, um, I didn't think about this. I don't have internet at my house. So, um, if I would make a video and try and upload it, it would either not go through at like the last minute after an hour of trying to upload it through my phone um, because I don't have internet or Wi-Fi or anything. We don't have cable. We just watch movies. Um, well, you're going to get it. We just haven't. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm making this video and I'm going to go over to my parents' house where there's Wi-Fi so I can upload it. Um, but yeah, I have a lot to update on. This is probably going to be nothing but an update on everything that's gone on in the past couple of weeks. I cannot remember my last video. I think it's been a month since I've made a video. I think I was 28 weeks when I made a video. But, um, today I am, it's Tuesday, I am 31 weeks and one day pregnant. I cannot believe I am that far along now. I never pictured myself getting this far, and I still can't picture myself with a baby. Um, I feel like it's too good to be true, and I just want everyone out there to know how much of a blessing it is for anybody who may have kids that is watching this, because I don't know, I, I mean, because of the miscarriage, I have this thing in my head that like makes me feel like there's no way I could ever have a baby. But, um, I was about to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a symptom. But we'll get to that. First things I'm going to do is update what's gone on in the past couple of weeks. Um, when I was 29 weeks and two days pregnant, I had an ultrasound done. Just a regular, nothing special, just a regular ultrasound. It's $50 to get it, and I just wanted one. Um, I have some pictures, and I will show them to you in my next video because I'm going to make another video. Whether I make it today, I don't know um, if I have time, but I have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, I have to help my sister-in-law go to the dentist, but if not, I will definitely put it up this week, and I can promise you all that. Because um, Friday, I'm gonna do a birth class with a with a doula. She, um, it's not someone I'm paying to be my doula. It's my mom's best friend, and she was there during my mom's deliveries, and she also attended my mom's home birth. And they've known each other for years and years, and I've played with their her daughters from the time that they pretty much were born all the way up until, you know, like her daughter is a little younger than me, one of them, and the other one's married, and she just had her baby, and she's not much older than me, but she got married before everything. She wasn't, you know, she did everything the right way, which is, I think is good, but, um, really sweet lady, but, um, so I'll be going to my parents' house so I can make a video that morning. Um, before I go over there and I can upload it because that's, that's seriously the only way I can get them uploaded. But anyways, um, I had an ultrasound done and at 29 weeks and one day, baby girl weighed three pounds and four ounces. Um, she measured a full week ahead and she looked wonderful. She, um, the ultrasound technician said that she looks like me. She has my full lips and my nose. She has long legs, which my husband does not have. I'm only 5'3", but I have more of a short body and longer legs. <clears throat> um, that's just the genetics I got, I guess. But, um, but my whole family is tall. My dad is 6'1", um, 
and my mom is 5'11". Um, and my, all my siblings are taller than me except for my 7-year-old sister. And that includes my 12-year-old brother. So, um, and my 13-year-old brother is um, almost 6'3", I think. He's really tall. So, um, yeah, sorry. Had something. I don't know if you could see that, but it was totally my battery is low. But, um, anyways, uh, so yeah. Um, she has big feet and long legs. That's what she said. Um, like, like more than average, not just normal. But she said her forehead looks like it might come from my husband's side. So, we'll see. I wonder what, whose eyes she has. That's what I wish we could see. But, yeah. Anyways. So, I had that. And then, last Tuesday, a week ago today, I had a doctor's appointment. And I had been having, during Braxton Hicks and just randomly, feeling like I could not breathe. I get out of breath really easily. Um, really, excuse me really tight in the chest and um, feel like the circulation to my arms and all the way up into my head was like just not right and um, I'd feel tight and and very out of breath and I was explaining it to him and I and he said I think I know what you have and he went and got a nurse and he got a stethoscope and he listened to my heart and um, told me that I have a mitral valve, mitral valve prolapse. Um, for people who don't, do not know what that is, um, through our chambers, well, our heart, as you know, is supposed to pump blood to our lungs and the rest of our body, you know, obvious. Um, and everything, it's all set up for the blood to come in and flow out and, you know, so yeah. Um, we have valves that go from each chambers, and when the heart beats, they do like that and allow blood to come out. Well, my valve does not close properly, and it, it probably goes like that instead of, like, right. And, um, it can have regurgitation, you'll hear the murmur, and you'll hear a click when my heart beats. But he told me it'll make my heart rate go up a lot faster, so he told me I had to quit working. And, um, take it easy for the rest of my pregnancy because my blood vol volume is so much higher now because I'm pregnant and my heart's bigger but the valves don't grow. So, therefore, it's making my symptoms be a lot worse. Um, during labor, I will probably have to have antibiotics and, um, yeah. And hopefully I don't pass out because then that leads to a C-section. But since I'm having symptoms so late in my pregnancy, um, I probably won't have, um, hopefully I shouldn't have problems to having a vaginal birth, which is what I really, really want. Um, symptoms. I feel like I have allergies and I've never felt that way before. So there's that. Very tired. I feel like I need a nap all the time. And... Um, some swelling. I've had a little bit of swelling, nothing too severe. Um, let's see. I feel like I might be nesting a little bit. I am kind of going crazy on the cleaning kick. And, um, I'm really feeling like I need to get her nursery ready and everything. And I'm ready to have my baby shower. Um, which is in just a couple of weeks so that I can get everything I need and know what I have and get it all ready so I can just have her and everything be done and that's it. So yeah, um, I'm going to do a belly shot and that's going to be it for this video and I'm going to make another video very soon to show you guys some stuff that I've made for her and I'm going to do a baby clothes haul for the stuff that I've gotten so far and I have a, a couple of other things to show you. So, um, yeah, do a belly shot for 31 weeks and one day. This is with my shirt on. This 
Sorry about the light. Dimmer there. And I have stretch marks right here. They're really not that bad. They look worse in the camera, but yeah. Belly button is out, but in at the same time. And you can see that line. So, yep. So, I will see you guys soon. Sorry about how long it's been since I've had a video up. So, but I'll see you guys soon. Bye.